Today we are reviewing the premiere episode of season eight of Potomac. It was very Robin heavy. <sighs> and um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So it starts with Robin and Juan talking about all of their situations, you know, the girl with the hotel receipt and how they move forward from that. And you know, they got married and then they went through this whole thing on the media. They go over the story again. Juan is just swearing up and down. He was a nice guy. Nothing happened. This girl had a very rich football player boyfriend, but called Juan to help her pay for the hotel receipt. And we're just expected to believe that. So apparently Juan is just such a friendly guy to everybody but Robin, huh? So yeah, they moved past that. You know, then they talk about how they moved past the laundromat. Then they talk about how they moved past the nail salon. <laughs> And then Juan calls Coach Bree attractive in Robin's face. Coach Bree is a beautiful, attractive woman. Yeah. <laughs> and then Robin tries to clean it up like, yeah, uh, people say we look alike. And Juan was kind of like, um... Right, she's like, people almost think we look alike. She's a beautiful woman. <laughs> so, yes, you see... <laughs> no, people don't say that. Why would he say that? They basically just use this scene to deny everything, you know, because then they start talking about his job and how he got fired, but he didn't get fired for the reason everybody said he did. Like, okay, y'all, y'all are just in denial, okay. You know, she doesn't understand why Candace is upset with her because she defended Candace. It's not about defending Candace. It's about the fact that y'all were using her situation to deflect from what you had going on. Y'all put a whole fake situation on her when you had a real scandal. So next is Karen, Wendy, and Candace, AKA the winning team. They meet up to talk about where they stand with the ladies. Pretty much everyone is irritated with Robin, even her own friends. I don't wanna call her delusional. I don't wanna say that. I wanna say, looking at her relationship from a different perspective. You know, cause it is one situation. Um, Robin's reason of not bringing it up is because she was waiting on Karen to bring it up, which is pretty dumb. Um, well, and then on top of that, Karen did say something about cheating. So even if you're waiting on her to bring it up, she did. She did say Juan was cheating. So either way, it's just a stupid reason. You know, the, the ladies are pretty much where we all expect them to be after the reunion. They're all pretty much in the same place. Nobody really talked about Giselle though. So I'm not sure where they stay with Giselle. Everyone was just really talking about Robin. So next is Ashley um, living in her new home without Michael. You know, he barely comes over or whatever, but the mortgage is in his name. Ashley is in no rush to move it. You know, she doesn't want to get divorced anymore. <laughs> you know, Giselle to FaceTime her and spilled the tea and told us that they in the Bahamas together. So Ashley is just riding this thing out till she can't no more. You know, she was she wanted to get the divorce, but I guess when she realized she ain't getting none in the divorce, she just wanna ride this out to as long as she can. I know, I love Ashley's professional look. She looked really good. Next is Giselle and her new man Jason, who was 16 years younger than her. I don't really know about him yet, um, but I'm glad we moved on from Jamal. That was a cute little scene for Giselle. Um, this was a cute little episode with Giselle. Um, you know, everyone loves Giselle as a mom. So she talked about Grace graduating and going to college. Now she took her on a trip to Dubai and they had fun and one last little shebang before she went off. You know, the viewers love Giselle as a mom. Um, so then she starts asking Grace how she feels about her new boo. And you can clearly tell it's just something about this man that Grace does not like. She gave him an A minus, but it's just the look on her face. It's just something that she don't like about him. Could it be his age? I don't know. I think it's probably the age thing. So next is Mia and Gordon. <laughs> Mia and Gordon went from a 10,000 square foot home to a 1,500. They're pretty much in an apartment. I see why Mia got on the powder there. <laughs> it's crazy to see them this broke. I, I see why Mia divorced them now. Like, sheesh, they broke, broke. They move on to Candace and Chris, and basically she's preparing for another tour. Um, and she wants to talk to Robin about the situation. Um, she's open to moving past it because Robin is her friend. 
how is Robin still her friend? Like, okay, whatever, Candy. So lastly, Giselle gathers Sharice and Ashley um, to her house to have an intervention with Robin about Juan regarding how he continues to publicly embarrass her. Now her house is still under construction. <laughs> Hotel Giselle is always under construction. And something's always broken. Something always needs some paving, some trimming, some demolishing. <laughs> okay, Chateau Sheree. I guess the only difference is she actually living in hers. Robin arrives last, so they kind of, you know, conspire before she comes about what they gonna talk about. Um, it's giving collusion. <laughs> so Robin arrives and basically Ashley starts off and she tells her she don't feel like she'd be honest with herself <laughs> about one. Robin is still saying that everything is lies, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but the girls clearly aren't buying it. Oh, the laundromat story was a straight lie. And that's the thing that he's not dumb enough to be anywhere in public being affectionate and physical with another woman. They ask her if she cares about the optics of the situation. Um, clearly Robin does because she told us when he, when he went to go meet with this lady, Robin told him the block was hot and not to do it, but he did it anyway. Literally, I told him, I'm like, he's telling me, oh, we're, I'm going to the salon breeze, going to come out and say hi. I'm like, Juan, the block is hot. And he's like, okay, whatever. Like, am I supposed to just like yes, sit because in the he house? Made the mistake. <laughs> so clearly she do care about this stuff being public. You know, she told him that, but he doesn't care. So she refuses to set boundaries with him. She just sits in denial, acting like everything that he does is okay. Um, I think because she don't want to piss him off and make him leave her. It seems like she never want to piss Juan off. Juan always seems like he in a bad mood and like she always walking on eggshells. It's like she just let him do whatever. Clearly she be having problems with the stuff that he does, but she's too scared to speak up. So at this point, she probably does let Juan cheat as long as he doesn't embarrass her publicly. But the issue is he's always embarrassing her publicly. I feel that way because they asked her if she was happy. And she says that the headlines steal her joy, not one who's out here doing all of this meeting up with these ladies. It's the headlines. To me, that tells me she don't give a crap what Juan does. She just don't want it publicized. Like, girl, by The girls are trying to tell her it's Juan's fault. Juan is the one doing all of this. And she just keeps talking about the blogs, the headlines. The... All right, girl, by. I would say it's open marriage, but I don't think Robin's cheating. I don't think she's cheating back unless she's hiding it very, very well. I think she just allows him to cheat, which is fine. You know, some people are okay with that. But let your friends in on it because they looking at you like you're crazy. <laughs> and then it called you delusional all episode. They basically care way more than she do. They're telling her she's being in denial. You know, they're trying to get her to open up. And it's so funny how she can, you know, interrogate everyone else and give them interventions, you know, especially when her and Giselle has so much to say about Wendy's new look and they were just being her friend and wanting to talk to her. But when the roles are reversed, she cannot handle it because she shut all the way down. She claimed that if he cheats, she would leave him. Yeah, okay. Her friends don't believe her. Everybody thinks she's being delusional. <laughs> you know, but they just let her be. They know she in denial, but they just gonna let her be. You know, I really like the way they handled the situation. They didn't do anything wrong. You know, they were being real friends the way they handled it, but Robin just wasn't ready to hear it. That's all. And the episode pretty much ends there. So no NECA this episode, but we will see our next episode. Um, we didn't really get much in the preview. Um, all of the ladies are going to come together next episode, though. Overall, this was um, an okay opener. Very Robin heavy again. Um, it, I mean, it's kind of to be expected, but like, ugh. If she is going to keep denying and lying, like, we, we can move past this. We didn't even need to bring her back, for real. But yeah, lots of Giselle and Robin this episode. Um, yeah. I have no idea what's going to be going on next episode. Because again, this was just all about Robin and picking up from the reunion. So, I don't even know where we're going to start with this new season. Um, so this first episode really gave us nothing but a bunch of Robin denying and being delusional um but y'all let me know what y'all thought about that in the comments down below just stay happy healthy and all of that good stuff and i will see y'all in my next video bye